It's no secret that for years some people have claimed that Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva has a drinking problem. The issue came up again recently in a threatened lawsuit. News 4 Tucson investigator Matthew Schwartz asked Grijalva about that and much more for this report. It's embarrassing and sometimes difficult, but it's the fishbowl life that I leave, lead as a politician and as a, a public person. Congressman Raul Grijalva is well aware some people have said for years that he has a drinking problem. What's your response to people who say that, it's not that you true. drink too much? No, I don't think, you know, I am, I, I'm a very fortunate human being. I'm surrounded by a very strong family. Every election cycle, the question you just asked me comes up again. It's kind of, did you stop beating your wife question? There's no answer to it without, without getting yourself in trouble. No, they're, they're false. Uh, I, I, I couldn't do my job. You know, while this is embarrassing, okay? Well, it is sometimes difficult to talk about, yes, uh, it's not true. Grijalba says he's heard the rumors since he was convicted of DUI in 1985. He says they come from political enemies who don't like his liberal views. The seven-term Tucson Democrat told us he did have a problem with alcohol, but got professional help. I dealt with it, and I, I, I feel comfortable that that I got past that, and it was a, it was a period in my life in which, you know, other things were were affecting me and and, and affecting uh, me personally. And uh, once uh, once you uh, you wrestle the demons and you beat them, you beat them. And I and I feel very comfortable that that demons beat. Grijalva dealt with a different type of demon recently. A threatened lawsuit, first reported by the Washington Times, a former employee of the House Natural Resources Committee, of which Grijalva is the ranking member, claimed he was frequently drunk and created a hostile workplace environment. What's your response to the former staffer saying you created a, quote, hostile workplace? She was there 28 days. Uh, and my response to her is that the, the, that is false, it's a lie. Grijalva paid the woman 48,000 taxpayers' dollars in severance pay as part of a settlement. If you did nothing wrong, why did you pay this woman? I, I, I think that that was the best use of money. It, it, going to court would have been three or four times that cost, number one, and number two, and it's not a defense, but this is, uh, uh, in, in, I've never done it before. This is the first time that we've made a settlement with an employee. Grijalva signed a confidentiality agreement, so he can't discuss specifics about the settlement. He says he fired her over what he calls philosophical policy differences related to work. He says he didn't want to settle. I wouldn't have done this on my own. I wouldn't have done it without legal advice. I've been real tempered and not not going into a personality issue with, with, with the complainant simply because it's not worth it. The former employee declined an interview through her attorney who told me it was Grijalva who insisted on the non-disclosure agreement. But Grijalva says the woman never complained about him until he fired her. I felt that the, the charges were so outrageous that we, we would prevail in court if we went to court. Grijalva says he wants the confidentiality clause lifted so everyone can find out what happened. If you want transparency, if you want it out, we also asked the ethics committee of the House, investigate this settlement and tell us and tell the public and make it transparent. If I had to do it over again, I would probably do the same route except uh, probably not deal with the confidentiality thing in case anything came up. The attorney for the former employee also told me that the woman is not interested in public debate or litigating this in the press. She's the mother of two children and wants to go on with her life. Congressman Grijalva turns 70 in two weeks and plans to run for an eighth term in office next year. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.